What's going on everyone? It's Kelly here and it's actually the next day to when I film this video So basically there's like three days going on filming this video But anyways, we're gonna start with my gator cooler if you guys like these coolers. They're super awesome You guys can use my promo code island key to save 10% off but Check out this massive mangrove snapper now Unfortunately, I did not shoot this mangrove snapper. I want to give a huge shout out to Brandon who not only dove down what 65 foot feet to shoot this mangrove snapper but he also shot it missed it reloaded his gun at 60 feet and shot it again and did not miss it so that's the fish i'm going to clean for you today but before i clean this fish i want to go back to yesterday myself blue gabe um high seas addict billy on instagram and brandon went spear fishing check this out too hard but I, I just once no, I he cut me off in the wreck. I tried to pull it I was like oh shit, he's after on the wreck yeah he cut me in the wreck I don't have another shaft either there's like hundreds of them I see what you drowned down there I was like you ain't moving He was just sitting mid water column, not moving. I went down there and tried to pull, like, just tried to help pull him the fish, but the fish was already wrapped in the wreck and just cut him off. There's some nice mangroves down there. What is that? What happened to the Elmico? What? Nice. <laughs> I don't know what happened when I shot. What's up? We all got a fish. The three stooges There's got fish. The pink snorkel strikes again. Ow! A little snap at Albuco. There's a big one down there too. Come on, Pinky. Let's see what you got. A little Albuco. Were those the two that were some around yeah. like this? I don't know how I missed it. <laughs> how do you like my gun? It's nice. That thing it's shoots good. hard. Yeah, it does. It's so pretty down there. It's so weird. Yeah. I told you to go I could hang out here all day. Well, there's a better set of rocks behind us a That's couple a hundred nice yards. That's down there. I'd say, let's say that. It's a keeper gag. Groomer's just making me upset. Every time I, I thought it was a cabera at first, and I started swimming toward it, and then I saw it, and I was like, oh man. I saw it as a grouper. I just swam at it out of just sheer anger. Can we talk about how many times you've attempted to put that fish in the boat? This one? <laughs> yes. I've been waiting for you to, to put him in here. I really wish that grouper 
was a mutt or a Rivera instead. I got a present for you. What? Oh, you got yours. Look at that. Look, look, what is it? A booger? Yeah, I blew my nose and my glove earlier. <laughs> oh, it's going in. <laughs> All right. So, honestly, yesterday the goal was to go cobia spear fishing off the bull sharks. However, when we were chumming up bull sharks, there just wasn't really a lot around. I think we had about three bull sharks come up to us in the flashers and no cobia. So we decided to just putz around, go from marble pile to the wreck to really murky water, 
and just kind of spearfish whatever swam in front of us and well that's what we got so i'm just gonna fillet this big old mangrove snapper here they have some really tough scales so you just got to get behind the scales there i bring the fish around I like to bring the fish to the end of the table. That way my knife doesn't hit the table while I'm working. Bring it all the way through, pop. Now this pop is it a, like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Oh, by the way, Luke has some, I've never heard of this song before, but he, he heard me use my Alexa to play music today. And I guess he just realized that we have an Alexa. <laughs> And he's like, Alexa, play whatever the song is. And it's like a remix of Spongebob. I have no idea, but I'm going to show you this video of him dancing for literally about 45 minutes straight. It was pretty funny, actually. So keep that knife pretty straight because you don't want to go under his bones. Make sure that tip of the knife, you'll eventually feel it hit his backbone. Then you want to go over his backbone with the tip of the knife and then angle down. There is his swim bladder. I made that noise. So this is what Gabe always yells at me for. You gotta like pop this pin bone somehow. Like so. There we go. Come on, just come off. There we go. Voila, look at that. Mangrove snapper, mangrove napper, mangrove snapper filet. To skin it, um, you can use this knife. Um, I normally, if it's a bigger fish, I'll use a bigger knife. That way it's just a lot more easier. But when I take the skin off a of filet, I'll put it on the edge of my table. That way my knuckles and the knife have room down here to keep the knife flat with that table. So I get a good grip on the skin. I move the skin. Barely moving the knife, you want to make sure you have a sharp knife. Just like that. I'll actually keep the fillet on the skin when I flip it over, that way it's not touching the booty juice table. And I just angle that knife like this, like a little triangle, and just kind of cut out a chunk of the bloodline. You don't necessarily have to get rid of all the bloodline. I didn't know where the gut bucket was, but most of it. He does have some pin bones right heel. Just kind of cut him out like so. Just like any other fish. Oh, we're gonna save that for the fish tank. And just like that, we have a beautiful filet. Now I'm not gonna cook this fish tonight. I'm actually gonna wrap it in paper towels, put it in a Ziploc. That way the paper towels do absorb any of the juice that comes off the fish because you don't want your filets sitting in water or sitting in juice. You want them as dry as possible. I'm gonna to go to my dad's tomorrow night and make him a fish dinner because it's been a while since I've been over there to cook him dinner. Hey, did you like the fish I gave you? Don't tell Tyler I gave you raw fish. Buddy, you can't eat this. This isn't for you, silly goose. You guys, it's the next day and I'm at my dad's. I'm making coconut rice topped with mangrove snapper. Now I did buy a bag of unsweetened coconut and a bag of sweetened coconut because I don't want to use too much sweetened coconut and have it be like way too sweet. So I put a little bit of butter in this pan, sprinkling some unsweetened coconut in there and some sweetened coconut in there just so it gives it a little bit of a sweet flavor. But like I said, I didn't want it to be like overpowering sweet. I might add too much, but hey, we like coconut. I went ahead and made some jasmine rice over here and I'm kind of just letting it cool before I add the coconut. I want to actually char the coconut so it's a little bit crispy and crunchy. I have a pan going on over here that we're gonna put our mangrove snapper in. And while I was filleting this fish, I was about to get rid of the carcass until I was like, I wanna eat the carcass. So I went ahead and gutted this fish, gilled it, scaled it, and we're gonna stick this carcass in the oven because you see all this meat? Well, there's actually not too much meat um, in between the bones, but there is some meat. But this collar right here is loaded with meat, as you can see there. 
Look how thick that is. That's all edible meat. There's also a little bit of meat in the cheeks and a little bit in the head right here. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven while I'm making this. That way we can pick on that as well. We are using this entire fish for dinner. Okay, so I'm definitely not used to cooking on a gas stove because they co it cooks a lot faster. Now check out this coconut right now. You see how it's getting that nice toasted toastiness to it? That's what we want. Let's toast it a little more. Then I'm going to throw it in the rice. Come over here and just dump that right in the rice. Uh, I'm just doing all of it. Coconut rice. Just like that. Okay, we're just gonna give that a good old stir. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah! Gosh, I have been looking forward to this meal for like two days. As you guys heard in the beginning of the video, this is like a three day filming video process. We spearfished one day, I made the intro and cleaned the fish yesterday, and now I'm cooking the fish. Oh yeah. Beautiful. So what I did is I did make the rice earlier just so it cooled down a little bit so it wasn't too soggy when you added the coconut in. I think I might have said that, but I'm going to say it again. Alright, so now time for the fillets of fish. Now, I just bought this a couple days ago at the downtown Stewart little like flea market they had there, and I thought it was super cool. So. As you guys know, myself and Blue Gabe, we use a lot of garlic in our meals. A lot of times Gabe buys the minced garlic in a jar, which is good. Sorry, buddy, just made a weird noise. Which is good, but I love using fresh garlic. So check this out. Right here, we got this little thing, this little brush, and this clay pottery made garlic grater. So you take some cloves of, gar cloves of garlic, you just put it in this little little tube here and you roll it and if you cook with garlic sorry I'm making a mess you'll know that it's so annoying to remove that like this stuff right here like this onion peeling so what that does is it takes it right off and you have a fresh garlic clove just like that easy super easy all right next you take your little dish here Get it wet, just like that. You take your garlic and you just easily grate it, just like this. If you're making scampi, if you want, you're making any type of meat, steak, fish, whatever it may be, you just grate it like that. You take your little brush, you just brush it right off into your skillet or your salad dressing or whatever you need minced garlic for. Isn't that so cool? I love it. So I'm going to do a couple more garlic cloves and we're going to stick that fish in the pan. So it's kind of funny because my dad is a super, 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 super plain eater. And I just added another clove of garlic. He's like, that's a lot of garlic. Little does he know I'm adding garlic salt onto the fish. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Lots of garlic. You won't even taste it. This Lowry's garlic stuff is literally the best for everything. I mean, steak, fish, lobster, pork, everything. All right, I'm gonna turn this back on. I did turn it off because I didn't want my butter and olive oil to burn. Just lay that fish in there just like so. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I'm super excited. Another thing I did kind of forget to mention is these pieces of fish, I did butterfly some of the thicker pieces. So that means I just cut them in half like this, flipped it over, that way I had some thin pieces so I could cook the fish evenly. All right, our oven is preheated. I'm just gonna put some olive oil on this guy. Whoa, just like so. A little bit on the pan. I'm gonna be honest, I honestly didn't really have I didn't really plan to make this. Like, like I said, I just kind of did it. So I didn't bring a different seasoning. So we're going to use garlic salt on this as well. But this is just to show you guys that you can eat more of the fish than just the fillets. Now typically on the smaller mango snapper, you know, like 10, 12 inches, the collar is not going to be that significant to eat. But if you do get a bigger mango snapper like this one, a grouper, a big mutton snapper, anything on the larger side, 
it's going to have a nice collar. And the difference between the collar meat on a fish and the filet is think about chicken. Chicken, you got dark meat and light meat. Well, on the fish, the dark meat is the collar. Next month, fish head soup. You know what's funny is I actually have two black grouper in the freezer and our killer thumbnail to make a fish head soup video. Sweet. So I'm going to be doing that. Everything is super hot right now. We're gonna put some rice on our plate. This is the biggest spoon we could find. <laughs> All right, just like that. On top of the rice, I'm also going to add a little bit of honey. Shout out to Mike and Marcy, our biggest fans. And this is their honey that they made, I guess. They have bees. Drizzle a little bit of honey over that coconut rice. And then our mangrove snapper. Now, normally I use salted Kerrygold butter. I did experiment a little bit and I used unsalted butter. So normally if I would have used salted butter, the butter would have browned a lot more and gave like a nice crispy buttery texture to the top of the fish. But like I said, I experimented a little bit and I think I'm gonna go back to using salted butter when I do pan sear fish. But this plate I'm going to give to my father. Here you go, we're gonna let it cool down. So we'll see y'all in about two seconds. Check, you already dig it in. I didn't even turn the camera on yet. I'm hungry. Check this out. I'm super, super excited. What do you think? I love the coconut. Right? Mm -hmm. My dad loves coconut. I like rice too. And I like fish, so very good combination. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. Another reason I split the coconut half and half with unsweetened and sweet is because I knew I was going to add honey. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm hitting the honey now. So good. But what are you doing over here? I'm getting ready for the... Port St. Lucie Sports Cards and Collectibles show in April, April 10th, this month, second Sunday every month. And where is that? It's at the um, St. Lucie Mets Convention Center at Barron Real Estate in St. Lucie West, Port St. Lucie. All right, so if you guys like sports or collect cards, there's a bunch of cool stuff at this Port St. Lucie card show that my dad and my brother help run, or I guess run, you kind of started the whole thing at yep. the Port St. Lucie one, yep. right? We, we promote and run the show. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, check out, I mean, you think that's a lot of cards? Let me show you a sneak peek. Oh, yeah, that's all cards right there. What do you think, buddy? That's a lot of cards, huh? All right, y'all, well, if you're in Port St. Lucie, check out the baseball card show, Port St. Lucie. Boom, right there. I'll have everything you need to know in the description below. But right now, we're going to enjoy this delicious mangrove snapper. Shout out to Gabe for using the boat, and shout out to Brandon for spearing this snapper but right now this video is ending thank you for watching guys be sure to subscribe to my channel kelly young leave a positive comment below and we'll see you guys next time see ya